Mr. Great to have everybody here today. Um, let me just say that uh, as your uh, new regional minister in Ontario, it's a delight to be part of this team and to pray together as a family and look for God's direction and blessing in, uh, in these uh, challenging times. Uh, some of the others on the call today work um, with us in Ontario as regional minister assistants. So uh, Scott, why don't you wave at everyone? Scott's a regional minister assistant and uh, part of our uh, national board. Uh, Jeremy Stewart is with us today too uh, from Kitchener area. He is a regional minister assistant and Rob Harwood from Stainer is also a regional minister Assistance Alex Lai is with us, just joined us. Um, Alex is a regional minister assistant. And um, everybody else, um, I think you do other jobs. I don't know what you do, but uh, I, um, you're not regional minister assistants. I know that much. Uh, but great, to, again, great to be with you. Some of these gentlemen um, are going to be leading our uh, group, Katie. Good. So this um, first prayer item. I've been, um, just some encouragement around prayer this morning. I've been uh, in my own devotions, reading through uh, the Psalms again and um, listening to uh, the heart of the, of the hymn writer there uh, with regard to um, his life or her life. I'm not sure who the author of all the Psalms are, but um, I've been struck again just by the, uh, the uh, raw emotion that is in in the Psalms, and it's kind of shocking sometimes um, to to see the um, the anger, the disgust, the frustration um, at uh, at what's happening in the world around them. Um, they have real enemies, flesh and blood enemies that uh, they are railing against God uh, for. And I, the one I read this morning it said, uh, "When I think of the Lord, I moan." It's sort of like uh, when you think of you have to go to the dentist. You go, ah, and so this, this is what the psalmist was saying. When I think of the Lord, I go, ah, but because it seems like he is inactive. And um, what, I, what I'm taking from that and what, what, what encouragement I find in that is that um, when we get before the Lord, we need to be honest. God only deals in reality. And so today we're bringing some heavy things before the Lord uh, but I want it to be uh, real. I want it to be authentic. We can put on religious selves and pretend things are fine. But I think in this season, it's a time for transparency and honesty uh, before the Lord and to ask him uh, to, to move on our behalf and uh, to even express our uh, frustration at the injustices that we see, believing that he is the God of justice and that he will act and move. And that's part of the reason the psalmist expresses things the way he does and she does. It's not, um, it's not hopelessness. It's saying, God, bring about the future that you desire. And that's why we're here today. So the first prayer item that I'd like to focus on is really our leaders uh, and the situation and the reality that they are facing. All of us are in a, in a ministry setting and we we know how challenging it is sometimes for, or it is for pastors in this season. There's a lot of um, uh, challenges with regard to discouragement, a lot of challenges with disunity. Um, uh, a lot of church boards are wrestling with how to open and uh, what to do. And so I just want to take this next <laughs> 20 minutes and really drill down uh, into this prayer request uh, for God to encourage and strengthen and protect leaders. And leaders, of course, are our pastors, but I wanna pray for church boards. I wanna pray for our world partners as well and, their, um, and those who participate with us in global mission uh, to, for the Lord to encourage and strengthen them in this, in this challenging um, uh, season. I think the enemy has lots of plans for us, um, but we want to be safeguarded against those plans. I think prayer is one of the ways that we uh, do that. So let's stand in the gap uh, for each other. Maybe you have uh, something that you need to express in your prayer time personally. I want you to feel that freedom to do that and uh, to hear from the Lord and to be strengthened. And for those who are not on the call today, to stand uh, with them. 
Uh, I think Katie's going to have a few uh, per items in the chat, and so you can refer to them there. Is that enough to go on? That's lots, I think, hey? So we'll take the next 20 minutes. Katie, do your magic and send us. And so, uh, again, uh, give, let's give our hearts to the Lord in this, uh, in this season. Yeah. So thanks for praying for that uh, first one. As Chris has said, that's a that's a big topic. I'm sure it's uh, it uh, occupies most prayer meetings um, these days. So thanks for that. Uh, continue to keep those the Lord's put on your heart uh, in the days ahead. Uh, the second item that came out of them, by the way, these prayer requests came out of uh, a little survey I did with the RMAs, asking what should be uh, what, what should we be praying together for. Uh, for the, for the EMCC and Church in Canada, and the second one was uh, our national team. Uh, there was um, the request that because a number of us are new, either new to a certain position or or new um, new with, uh, with the denomination, uh, we should take the time to pray for God's uh, blessing over our national team. That He. Uh, God unifies us as a team. Uh, that He speaks clearly to us about uh, what's going, uh, what's going on in our country. That we can lead and act uh, decisively for kingdom purposes. Uh, that we will not grow uh, discouraged in this uh, as we take on new new roles in our 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 learning. So uh, this this is about new people in a new season. Uh, but with that is the hope. Uh, that God does have something in putting us all together. God does have something strategic uh, and uh, kingdom focused in this uh, season, and that it is He is asking us to partner with Him for the establishment of what He wants to do next with our denomination across the country. So, as a person who thinks about the future and is 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 genetically wired to be hopeful, uh, which I am. Um, I, I, I love this idea that we can um, sow into the future. The Bible talks about our hope as an anchor, and it's an anchor we cast into the future and pull ourselves toward. Uh, we're not interested in staying in one spot. We're interested in going uh, forward as a, as a group of Jesus followers in our nation and around the world. Uh, so let's just pray for maybe God will put a particular person on your heart or a particular role um, and uh, our new um, a new board, a new uh, new national team, um, new set of regional minister assistants, uh, all that national team and those who work close with us um, that the whatever that God has for us in this season, we will see it manifest in our time. And in this generation, we will see it uh, and we'll be able to point to it and say, that's what God was doing all along, despite the confusion, despite the shadowy life we seem to be living right now. Does that make sense? Um, that's what I want to call us to in this uh, next uh, next 20 minutes, I guess. So if that's enough to go on. Um, Katie, thanks. There's anything that kind of stood out in your time praying together that felt like it was just a spirit prayer, like it came right from God and felt even like borderline prophetic. I'd love to just hear a couple of those things. I don't want to take over from Jeff here, but um, Jeff, I was just saying it might be great to take a couple of minutes and just if anything really stood out as feeling like it was right from the spirit to just share that with the main group, would that be all right? Of course. Yeah, good. Um, yeah, so we have like five minutes left. Um, so if we just want to take a couple minutes, was there something that you prayed that you were like, okay, the the spirit was really on that, like that came from heaven and would be good to share with the with the group? No, we, we weren't play, praying in the spirit. That's okay. <laughs> I'm just teasing you. We're just we're just all too humble. You're all too humble. 
That's all we, we prayed for humility. So that was, that's a good thing. <laughs> um, I had a bit of a picture just of like, you know, like a covering over Canada and just the enemy kind of um, punching some holes in it. And that um, the thing to fill up those holes is truth from the word of God. So that as we're looking up to heaven, we're actually seeing these truths that will keep us humble and unified and um, focused on the things that Jesus would have us be focusing on rather than all of the disunity or things that are going on around us. So that was just kind of a clear picture that um, I was praying into a bit. Give it a few seconds in case somebody, Scott. I, I was I was just going to say, for me, this isn't something that necessarily just happened during our time of prayer, but this is something that God has been kind of really laying on my heart over the last you know, number of weeks, probably a number of months, is just that, you know, we, we might try to rally uh, unity around all kinds of different things, but I think what we really need to be doing, what Christ's been challenging me to do is just to pray that the spirit would create supernatural unity. Um, and I, I don't know, he's just been trying to, I think he's been trying to refocus my my prayer efforts and maybe even my own pastoral efforts a little bit around, you know, let's, let's rally around the right things and let's pray that uh, we don't become unified around X, Y, or Z cause, but let's manifest the unity of the spirit. And so, I don't know, he's just been, He's been repeating that to me um, over the last months. That's awesome. Thanks for sharing, Scott. Um, Jeff, do you have anything else that you'd like to say before I close us out? Uh, no, I'm good. Okay. Um, so I just want to thank you all so much for coming and taking this time to pray. Um, I believe it's the most important hour of our day is that we've been calling on God together. So I thank you so much for being part of this. Um, thank you, Katie, for uh, doing tech for us today and Jeff for organizing uh, our prayer points with your RMAs. Uh, thanks for doing that, guys. Um, our next event, um, whether you can make it or not, just tune your ear to the spirit. Maybe there's somebody that needs to be at this next event. It's called Regroup. And we have a couple of people in our EMCC family, um, Phil Kather and Diane Kugland, who are therapists. And they've been working with leaders um, through this time of COVID. And they just have some awesome tools and wisdom and insight that they'd like to share with us. Um, and so it, it is kind of around the topic of mental health, which is interesting. John was just sharing. Um, that's probably the main benefit that's been used in this season by our leaders is um, for mental health stuff. So um, this is a talk where we can come together and not feel alone and feel validated in how hard this has been and also take some steps towards resilience and having some tools. So if you know someone who needs to be part of that, um, registration is open. It's just that emcc.ca. Um, backslash connected and so hope you'll be there but even if you can't be um just keep an, your eye open to people who need just some extra support in this season because we want to resource and provide that in this way for support it's october 26th at um, 10 a.m pacific time 11 mountain standard time and then the rest of the times that we have across Canada. So hope to see you guys there. Um, just a quick benediction for you all um, from 2 Corinthians 13 14. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all in Jesus' name. Go in blessing. Thanks for being here, guys. Wonderful seeing you all.